I'm going to do an inbox preview of this kit here, which is the Meng Models ZTQ-15 tank. They refer to it as the PLA ZTQ-15 light tank. And then they've got the translation here. And we have the 135th Tyrannosaurus series. The kit number is TS-048. The box shows uh, callouts here for AK Interactive paints. And we can see some of the, the details like they show here are uh, like a highly detailed, highly detailed kit. So we'll see what actually comes in here. Now, I should say though, I have built the up armored version of this exact tank. This one came out first and then like almost immediately they came out with the uh, up, up armored variant which uh, it's slightly different than this one. And I've actually built that kit so I can't compare them just side by side but in the future when I finish that kit I'll go into how it actually builds. So let's just see what this kit which is their main one um, has in it. So this this sheet does not come with it. This is an aftermarket uh, mask set for the digital camouflage because the uh, it has that really complex sort of digital camouflage scheme. And then you get, which is one of the main reasons I like these is because you get the little uh, like for the glass, you get the uh, the transparencies in there, which is really nice and. It, these are good sheets. I recommend them for the price. They're about $20 and it's worth the upgrade if you're going to do this variation. If you're not going to do this variation, then I wouldn't worry about it. But it's obviously made for this kit because now uh, Trumpeter has released one of these tanks. Um, I don't know if I'll get that one in the future or not. But anyways, here's the uh, instruction sheet you're your typical like awesome uh, Meng instruction instructions and you've got looks like two vehicles here the the three colored camo and the digital camouflage which is really neat and then you have the uh, like multicolored instructions their instructions are, are very good they're they're top-notch that's just what you can expect from uh, Meng so you've got the uh, two different schemes which is pretty cool because you can either go with the complex digital or you can just a regular camouflage vehicle um, this would be something I would sort of a complaint they probably will work out good once you paint them and put them on there it's kind of more for a speed build and they do actually look really nice the detail on them looks really good you can see actual pin detail in there but the other kit the up armored one comes with actual click tracks and you use a jig to build the click tracks. I like that better, but um, but these these look all right. Um, I can't say how they'll fit, and I'm not really a fan of the vinyl or the vinyl style soft tracks for uh, weathering in that. But I mean, if you want a fast build, these are they're sufficient. They they look nice enough, and we have the the detailed turret here everything looks really good I don't know a heck of a lot about these tanks like how they're supposed to be checked textured or anything like that so I can't uh, say if like this is really like immaculate or anything or if it's actually supposed to have um, anti-slip coatings and things like that so I'm just sort of going off what I can see in the kit which everything looks really nice And you have like a multi-piece barrel here. Uh, it seems to be okay. You can see how they, uh, the barrel jacket, they've actually put a, uh, like where the split is, the, the piece you riveted together is, uh, it looks like it will cover up any seam you might have, which is a really clever way of doing it. They've, like, they've really engineered that really nice. So you won't have to worry about it except for cleanup on the bottom. You've got a nice machine gun here with the open muzzle. Very nice. So 
super like super detailed uh, everything on it looks just excellent which I should say was the same with the other kit and the skirting everything looks nice and your your grills here which are open and I'm looking at them and I don't see any flash at at all on these on these grills and then obviously the little uh, panther or, um, I'm guessing he's a panther because it's black so that's a separate piece which I really love that they've done that 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 was a really cool feature which is featured on the other variant as well now look at the the hull okay so there is anti-slip texture and this one looks perfect the anti-slip texture on here looks just awesome excellent they've really done nice and you can see some of the fine details in here very nicely done and then inside you've got your poly caps and there's the uh, gun like the uh, cover for the gun which is okay I don't like that soft material but um, it's kind of the way they do them now and I think there should be plumbing on that for the the fuel tanks actually I'll, I'll check in a moment and then it's fully detailed the lower hull has everything the uh, escape hatch and, and uh, various components really nicely detailed upper hull and all we've got left is really the the running gear you've got the fuel tanks and the running gear is nice these are easy to paint uh, by hand I did my other ones by hand and uh, the other one which I'll check in a moment included a, a paint mask though also for the for the wheels but everything on here looks really nicely detailed and then you've got separate complete arms in there um, the glass really nicely done where they've put all these pieces together so you don't have to individually do them they're already set up like that really easy to install and actually I found in building the other one you can install these after you've painted the tank because if you leave the turret off you can get underneath and install these later which is a really cool way of doing it and then you've got a, uh, a sheet here just a few different uh, tank markings on there I don't see the I don't see the photo etch sheet I guess this one does not come with the photo etch sheet which the other one did I'm not seeing it here in the instructions which is kind of weird because there should be a a grill over top of this which is kind of uh, interesting and that also had the paint uh, the little paint mask thing on it well that's kind of weird um, always gonna look for the fuel tanks to see if you, the plumbing was actually in there I'm not seeing the plumbing either for the for the fuel tanks so this tank looks like a very sort of quick build type of thing I highly highly recommend the other uh, variant the heavy armor variant I don't know if there's much difference in price but I would definitely go with that one over this one unless you're looking to do just a straight parade vehicle and you want a really quick build that looks like what this kit is it actually looks like a quick build it's super detailed as you can see in the parts it's super detailed but it's kind of a quick build the other um, the heavy variant is the one to get in I believe you can leave the the heavy armor off of that one too so this one is looks like this is the quick build and the other uh, the other kit by Meng is the uh, like the detailed more complex build so anyways um, it, it's still a recommend it, it looks it looks really nice so this is the uh, the PLA ZTQ 15 light tank uh, by Meng and this is kit TS 048
So thank you for watching.